Welcome to our ISO IEC 27001 Lead Auditor course. In this lecture, we will understand what is ISO, what is IEC and what is standard 27001. Let us first understand what is ISO. It stands for International Organization for Standardization. ISO is an independent non-government organization that develops and publishes international standards for a wide range of industries and products. It has total 167 plus member countries which participates in the development of the standard. Objective of all the standards developed by the ISO is to ensure that product or maybe services or systems are safe, reliable and of good quality. Let us now discuss what is IEC. It stands for International Electrotechnical Commission. It specifically focuses on the fields of electricity, electronics and related technologies. It has 170 plus member countries and affiliates countries. Objective of all the standards developed by IEC is to ensure that electrical and electronic systems are safe, compatible and efficient. Now question arises, why do ISO and IEC jointly issue the standard? Simple answer is, to address the overlap between their area of focus such as in the field of IT, electronics and communications. It helps to avoid the duplication of effort and create a unified approach that benefits the industries and consumers alike. This collaboration ensures that standards are globally relevant and cover all the technical aspects including safety, efficiency and performance. Now let us understand what is a standard. It is a documented set of rules, processes or certain characteristics to ensure that products or services or processes meet certain quality, safety, efficiency and consistency requirement. For example, standard 27001 may list down certain requirements, let us say requirement A, requirement B, requirement C, D, E and so on. So now, when an organization is certified by an independent body as ISO IEC 27001, then it indicates that that particular organization fulfills all the requirement A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever it may be. So, it gives the assurance to the stakeholders. Now, let us understand what is the process of developing a standard. A working group is formed to draft the standard. Once the standard is drafted, it is circulated among the member countries for their comments and feedback. Now, please note that this is not a simple process. Multiple rounds of discussions, approvals and other processes are followed before a draft is finalized. Once there is agreement, that is two-third of the participant countries agrees to a particular standard, then the draft is approved and published as an official standard. Now let us discuss what is ISO IEC 27001 standard. We already discussed about ISO, IEC and the standard. So ISO IEC 27001 is a standard on information security management system. Objective of this standard is to develop certain requirements which helps to manage, monitor and improve the information security practices within an organization. ISO 27001 requires the organization to document and implement a set of policies, procedures and controls 
to ensure the confidentiality, integrity and availability of the information. So this is about ISO IEC 27001. That's all for this lecture. In our next lecture, we will discuss about components of information security management system that is ISO 27001 standard. Thanks for watching.